My name's Amy and I'm currently the Secretary at Hilton Harvest Community Garden. It's a really relaxing place to spend time. I'm Sam Wainwright, Council at City of Fremantle and occasional volunteer. There is really something therapeutic, chatting with good people uh, while working away in a garden. Recenters here certainly makes me happy again, I recommend it to anyone. I'm Dave Bevington. I've been involved with the garden since 2010. We're a big food family, we just like food and if there's food here, we're here and I'll be honest, that's one of the attractions. Yeah, the evidence overwhelmingly supports that fruit and veg is the single best thing you can do for your diet and improving your heart health. There's a group of kids that come on a Monday morning learning about compost and they're learning about worms and they're learning about seeds and growing things. It's great for children to start gardening as soon as they're able to. And so the more they see the fruit and veg being grown and they can taste it as it's growing, the more likely they're going to eat it and carry on those behaviours when they get older. Gardening is probably one of the most obvious ways to teach young people about how nature works and how we're, how we're all interrelated, interdependent, where food comes from. I think it's really important to bring those things back into an urban setting. There are kids who have come to the garden who at eight years old are holding an egg for the first time in their hands. One of the most critical things, above and beyond the veggies that get produced and the fruit uh, and the learning that people get out of that, is the social connections that are formed. You really do see the fact that the garden brings together people of different ages, different social backgrounds, who may not mix ordinarily, and, but instead at the garden they come together in a totally sort of natural and non-forced kind of setting, you know? There's people here I would never normally come across. So over the 10 years, I think my social group has kind of slowly changed to be more um, centred around the garden and other community things. I'm perhaps not the most social guy in the world, but I know that coming down here is really good for me socially, just to get in touch with people. Being a part of this community is something really magical. You know, these people are not my family, but they are, because that's the kind of relationship you have with them. It's really become over the years a focal point for the suburb. The impact of the garden is more than just the physical space, it does kind of permeate through the community and people like the idea of a community garden and the real estate agents put it on their ads. And it's also well established that you know the best thing for community safety is passive surveillance, it's people getting to know each other. And no amount of um, you know, locks and alarms can replace for that level of community interaction and I think the garden plays a really, really useful role on, on that level. Community doesn't happen as naturally as it used to, I don't think. We've lost those spaces where you can actually community can be, can be formed. But we're seeing a return to a desire for that, and I reckon community gardens are a really good example of how we're doing community in the 21st century. It's a space of growth. So you come, you plant seeds, you see those plants grow, but the, the people that you're with, you see the kids grow up in this really nurturing space. You know, it's, it's like a village almost.